to understand about breast cancer first let us understand what is the anatomy of the breast the anatomy of the breast is very simple as is shown in this diagram the breast consists of glandular tissue ducts that carry the milk to the nipple and that is the areola here it has fat it has fibrous tissue and it has this fibrous tissue strands give the shape to the breast the rounded shape to the breast gland the breast is also drained by lymphatic ducts as we know that we have a lymphatic system in our body if we get a tonsillar attack our nodes in the neck in the neck increase in size the lymphatic system has a role in the body to prevent any disease that is occurring in the breast to spread to the rest of the or organs or to the rest of the body these nodes are about 30 to 40 in the armpit and these nodes are our immunity and drain the breast and this is very important to understand as we describe the treatment for breast cancer now let us understand how breast cancer begins within the ducts of the gland this is a normal duct and it shows a basement membrane or the wall of the duct and then you have the glands that is the internal cells of the duct these ductal cells are normal the next step in the genesis of cancer is that these cells increase in size and increase in number due to some sort of irritation that occurs and triggers the starting of breast cancer when these ductal cells remain within the basement membrane or the wall of the duct then this is known as stage 0 of breast cancer and this is the precancerous stage of breast cancer when these cells break through the basement membrane and the wall of the duct then these cells uh, can invade the stromal tissue that is the fat or the fibrous tissue of the breast and therefore this is known as invasive cancer or then it goes into the first stage of breast cancer the stage 0 of breast cancer can remain within the breast for about 8 years before it transforms into an invasive cancer. Once the cells break through this wall of the ducts, then they go and invade the blood vessels or they invade the lymphatic tissues of within the breast and from the lymphatic duct they may go into the glands which I have described in the anatomy in the axillary region.